Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So I am doing another video for part of the collab and I will link all the information and then I'll have all the information written down um, when I come back. So that I'll give it to the end so that you guys have to watch the end to know how to win prizes. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's not just to be part of the collaboration, but I'm out of pork and beans and this week when I made them, I had to buy beans and I don't want to do that. <laughs> so... I am going to put the recipe below, but I'm actually going to add a little bit because I'm going to add a ninth jar. So, oh, and let me give you the disclaimer. This is considered Rebel because I don't pre-soak my, my beans, so it is considered Rebel. So that is something that you have to decide for yourself, but you can, in fact, you know, um, soak your beans first. I just choose not to. So let's get started. All right, so now I have a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, and I have three, I'm, it says calls for two cans, but I'm adding three cans of tomato sauce, and this can be home canned or in, from the store-bought. I'm all out of my home canned. <laughs> So I didn't have much of a choice. Now you need about three quarters of a teaspoon of mustard. I'm just going to kind of add my own what I think it would be. There we go. And then we need two tablespoons of honey. You can use maple syrup, but it will make them taste more like a baked bean instead of of pork and bean. Alright, one more squirt there should do it. Alrighty. And then it calls for three cups, but I'm putting in four cups of water. Because I really do want to make up the difference for having that um, ninth jar. I have room for nine jars in my canner, and that's what I'd like to use. And obviously, I did this a year ago, so I ran all out of them. <laughs> I have baked beans. I have, um, let's see, ranch beans. I have a whole bunch of different kinds of beans, but no pork beans. Now we're going to get that up to a boil. So once that gets to a boil, then I'll come back and I'm going to do three jars at a time. Right now, my canner is starting to preheat because obviously this is going to be hot and my jars are in the oven so you want hot 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 so um you know don't grab your cold jars and throw stuff in there um, I did the first time and everything turned out fine but now I'm a little bit more experienced and I know that you need to have hot 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 so you live and learn as you go through you know what I mean just hopefully nothing is a dangerous thing that you learn um, I I rebel can and someone makes fun of me when I say, you know, make sure you can safe. Um, the USDA hasn't, they haven't checked anything in for years. So if there's stuff even that I will not can, there's things that people do out there that I see in the reveling groups I would never touch. Never in a million years because I don't feel that it's safe. I would never do anything that I hadn't known of someone that did it or tried it themselves or that we have tried ourselves and I would never do that. And a lot of channels that even they go on the other collabs that don't allow reveling, I've watched their videos and they do the dry canning as well. Um, no soak method is what they call it. So I will continue doing that and my beans turn out beautiful. <laughs> And I want to thank you for having this open collab that you can have some, you know, rebel in there as long as we let people know. And thanks for making us not feel like we're left out there because we're good canners too. And I'll be back when this is boiling. All right, so we're going to start out with three jars. So I'm going to pull them out of the oven. I keep my jars heating up at 250. So remember the bottoms are going to be hot. Well, the tops are too, but, yeah. 
Alrighty. I'm going to turn this juice off, or the, yeah, the juice off. Now, all of my beans I keep in these, but now I also store them in different containers, too. They've all been washed and dried before they were put in there. Now, whenever you do pints of beans, you use a half a cup. You don't want it a rolling over cup, half cup, just a, a nice scant half cup. I'll tell you guys, you know, once you learn the pressure cooking stuff, if those of you that haven't started, I'm telling you, it opens up a whole new world of things that you can do. And I was that person who did not even want to put the jiggler on. I was scared to death. And because all I'd ever done is water bath even with my grandma. And let me tell you, it opens up a whole new world for you and... You get addicted to canning. And the first year I just absolutely went crazy on canning. Crazy, crazy. But that's okay. Because you know what? It put food on my shelf for my family. And for nowadays, if you get a chance to get a good deal on something, grab it up. Because food is getting way too expensive. Now this doesn't call for onions. Well, it does. But I'm going to put a little bit more in than what it calls for. Because I think the onion taste in the beans really really add a lot it asks for a teaspoon i'm putting in more of a tablespoon as long as it's safe you can adjust it to whatever you want it to be you know it's, it's your recipe and then you can either put bacon or fat back in there i don't have fat back so i'm putting bacon in mine and any bacon that i have left over i'll fry it up and use it as um as something else <laughs> all right now we're gonna take this up I do go up to just below the one inch head space because I know that my beans are going to expand so we'll go up just to the below that And these turn out so beautiful. Yes, I'm a messy canner. <laughs> I am truly a messy canner. I'm a messy cook. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, because these are, um, if you make them in, ha in pints, or half pints. It will be the same as meat time. It will be 75 minutes. I really made a mess with that one. Alright, it'll be 75 minutes. If you do a quart, that will be the full 90 minutes. Like you would do with your with your meat. There we go. Now, you want to make sure that you to bubble these and debubble them well. Make sure you get in between every single bean. And I just stir it up like it's a hurricane in there. Or a tornado in our area. <laughs> but make sure you get all that liquid in with those beans. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, now you want to use your water. I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. My allergies are getting the best of me. <laughs> you want to wash that rim off really, really well. Oh, and that's something else I forgot. Make sure you wash all of your jars. Even if you feel like you just washed them, wash them again. Make sure they're nice and clean. Get all those rims done. Check for any cracks. Because that will prevent it from sealing correctly. I'm put all my lids on. I do use four jar canning lids. And I do have a link below in which you can save 10%. And then we want to put them on just finger tight. If 
wants to go on there correctly. There we go. Sometimes they just want to give you a fuss. Now I'm going to put these into my warming up canner and I will finish up the other six and then I'll come back. There you have it, guys. Nine pints of beautiful pork and beans. Let me bring you up here. And they've already popped. Aren't they beautiful? And the beans do get full, but once again, I have to tell you that it's Rebel Canning. And I do all my beans that way, and, well, I'm still here. <laughs> so I told you I would tell you about the collab at the end. It is hosted by Constance over at Cosmopolitan Cornbread. If you could push hashtag March Canning Madness and tag her in it. She'll add you to the playlist. Make sure you go and watch the other videos as well. There's a lot of really great canning videos over there. And make sure you comment. Nice comments on every one of them. There will be a drawing on March 31st. So go over and look at Constance's channel. Look at the list and watch all of those too. And you know, make sure you add that comment. We all could use the likes, shares, the subscribes. Um, it really does help our channels. So you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Be a blessing. And I'll be back with another video.